Niaka Africa and non-governmental organization whose activities have challenged the Nigerian leadership on good and transparent leadership, amongst others, is cautioned against the overbearing powers of state chief executives as three states of the country prepares to vote in their various chief executives for a full-term leadership in office. Yega Africa made the caution at a press conference in Abuja as the Independent National Electoral Commission prepares for off-circle elections in the three states of Imo, Kogi and Bayelsa. The organization stated that over 5 million registered voters with permanent voter cards registered for the election on Saturday, 11th November, in the three states. 5,169,962,000 registered voters with permanent voter cards PVCs will vote. Um, we will go to elect governors across Bielsa, Imo, and Kogi states. According to INET, the number of permanent voters card PVCs collected in Bielsa is a million seventeen million one point zero seven six one three. Two point three one eight nine one nine, and in Kogi, one point eight three three one six eight. Despite these high collection rates, the Aga Africa projects low voter turnout in the respective states, only to the speed of pre-election violence. The Aga Africa commends the peace building initiative in the three states, led by the National Peace Committee. The Aga Africa urges all political parties and candidates to adhere to their commitment to the peace accord. The director of voters' exercise, Yaga Africa, Cynthia Mbumelu, stated some recommendations based on its findings observed during the build-up to Saturday elections and from previous elections to ensure that the elections are not only free and fair, but judged credible by all stakeholders. INEC should ensure the operational shortcomings in previous elections are properly addressed ahead of the elections, especially with respect to the early deployment of election materials to all polling units. This is particularly important because um, by also election in 2019, we had some polling units that did not even receive elections materials. Now, data showed that about 24% of our sample polling in Bielsa last elections did not receive their materials. And so for this election, this is important and we hope that in these three states that early deployments and availability of materials are present across all polling units in these states. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.